Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm here with a project share video. I'm so excited to show you guys these uh, um, things that I've made. Um, they're not new, but they're new to me. Um, like I've been watching videos on how to make these and they're video from like two to three years ago. So it's, um, yeah, so uh, I'll just show you guys. They are called altered matchboxes and they are made from the 32 count um, little match boxes that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and they look like this and here's the little I'm gonna call this the drawer Mine's <laughs> you just a little drawer um, so yeah they look like this and I am addicted to making these now they're so much fun and I'll show you the first one this is the first one um, obviously you guys know where this ribbon lace <clears throat> excuse me came from it's from the Dollar Tree and what I did was oh wait a second um, sorry guys okay what I did was I um, took some scrapbooking paper that I got from Michaels I mod podged it on everywhere and um, I did also like a little doily piece right back here um, you know the gems are from Dollar Tree and I just stuck those on and then for the little drawer I used a different um, paper but when it opens it looks like this um, this is my first one and so I'm just I was just kind of playing with it and sometimes they do all of the sides and the outside um, but I just wanted to do this part so that is my first one okay my second one was this one the ribbon was from Target Dollar Spot um, the um, this sticker is from Dollar Tree. This round pink one in the middle was from um, Hobby Lobby. The smaller ones and including these back here are also from Dollar Tree and the gems are from Dollar Tree and the paper is from Michaels. And this is what it looks like when you pop it open. So I just did both of these ends and then the bottom of it so then it looks like that the third one I made was this one um, this at the bottom just pulls you know helps open the little drawer um, and I actually mod podge um, all the way to the sides which I think it looks better and then I did, you know, the top and the bottom. Bottom and top. And this paper is from Michaels. Um, this is actually an old earring that um, I didn't wear anymore because I kind of break out easily now. So I decided to kind of recycle and use it for this because the ones I've seen in other videos have like... Um, they actually like make chains or like and then they attach charms and I don't have those kind of tools yet or materials so I decided to um, I just came up with this idea to recycle these and I just think it's gorgeous and this little ribbon or not ribbon it's like just trim um, I got from a yard sale, I got a bunch of it, different colors and everything, and I just glued it to the top. It's just so pretty, and I glued the flower on. It looks like a little, little skirt type of thing. So yeah, there's that one. And then this one, um, is my husband's favorite. <laughs> 
he was like, please don't give it away. Um, I really like it. We should keep it for us. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, this is another old earring. Um, there was actually another piece to it, but I took it off because I felt like it was too much. So, um, yeah, and there's, I used, uh, this hot air balloon paper from, uh, Tuesday morning. It was a Tuesday morning pad, paper pad that I purchased from there. And, um, this sticker is from Dollar Tree. The Explore sticker and the Go and See the World sticker are from either Walmart or Dollar Tree. I can't remember. This little compass sticker is from Tuesday morning. The little clouds up here that you see, it was from a deco runner from the 99 cent store. And yeah, I'm going to pull it and open it. And I just did basic little backgrounds and then I just punctured this. Um, it was I was trying different things with this one, that's why the hole looks so big like that. Um, because I was trying different things. And then what I did was just twist the earring around. That's all I did. I took, what are they like called, the wire cutters? They're like, uh, I don't know what you call them. And I can't find them at the moment. Oops. But, um, and then I just helped twist the earring around to hold it there. So yeah, that's, that's another one. It's my husband's favorite because we like to explore and whatnot and travel. And then the last one I made was this one. This one was so fun. Um, this is, I think you guys might recognize this, this little peacock is from Dollar Tree, um, it looks like this, this is what it came on, it's either a letter opener or a bookmark, I'm not sure, um, and I took it and broke it off, because I just thought, um, I had to, so, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna try this and see what happens. And I glued it on after I obviously Mod Podge this paper from Michaels. And then I wrapped it in this um, washi at the ends from, this was from Michaels too. And then I glued the little peacock gem on with the E6000. Yeah, this glue. Because I needed something, like I needed like a stronger glue. And then after that dried, I put some glue on the ends of these feathers and stuck those in. And I got the feathers from an old hair clip. It looks like this. It's this big flower and then it had like these feathers right here. But I, um, this clip is kind of breaking so I thought I'd recycle and use some of this material from here. So I just cut the feathers off and yeah, glued them on and it's just beautiful, especially from far away, it just looks, I just love how it turned out. And then I didn't put anything on the bottom, it's just this. But yeah, um, so that's it. I hope you guys like these, let me know what you think. Um, I will be making many more of these, I am hooked and I'm definitely going to send them and friend mails or giveaways or whatever. I just think they're so fun and I like to share it with everyone. Okay, thank you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye!